Um, hi, my name is Paulo Bagliero and I am 18 years old. And I basically got diagnosed with autism at 12 years old. And um, living with autism, like, um, it was, um, there were ups and downs, like, making friends has not always been easy for me. Like, you know, nowadays, like, um, I have a hard time, like, trusting some people because of what happened a couple years back. But, and I even realized that they're not worth my time. And I'm just trying to focus more on myself and on the future. And, And what yeah. else? What do you like to do? And I like to, you know, hang out with people, like engage with people. And I like to um, make conversation. And um, I enjoy traveling, reading, and watching Netflix. Yeah, yeah. And, and I also um, enjoy accompanying my dad everywhere he goes. Don't worry, I'm, <laughs> well, I, well, I met Mrs. Caputo back in kindergarten and first grade at Sapphire. And then, um, and then I saw her again in my freshman year, like in my first year of high school. Yeah. And it felt really good to reunite with her again. Yeah. And we still are like together, like um, until next year, my last year of high school. I and, know. But but I'm, but I'm gonna definitely keep in touch with her and never mm -hmm. forget about her. Yeah. And now, Paula, can you do you remember what do I always say? Like how in in kindergarten, how did you start out? What did, oh, basically, what did you used to do? Oh, oh that, that's, a, that's an interesting one. Um, I used to say my first name instead of using the I verb because at that time, I, um, my, Spanish was my first language to speak. I, I couldn't speak English back mm -hmm. then. So uh, basically, she um, taught me my I verb. And then in first grade, I started using the I verb. Yeah. Like, I kind of forgot and I didn't remember until, until now. Yeah, like, right? Because you would come in my room and you'd say, oh, Paulo want to play soccer or Paulo want this, right? And then finally we got to say like, I want to play soccer, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now look at you, right? You say it all the time. Of course. Like, it's incredible. Um, I think especially being my position is so unique that I see them right away in Monroe at the, the very first time they step through the doors. And oh, yeah. what we work on as a kindergartner, as opposed to what we're working on now is great. And I think to see the growth and progression, like that happens because it's teamwork, right? Everybody works through teachers, parents, Paulo's hard work, all of that stuff has helped him be where he is now. So we went from Paulo wants to play yellow soccer to being able to give speeches, oh, yeah. which is fantastic. Well, basically just to express myself better and to learn how to, you know, share my experience, like living with autism all my life was like for me and to be able to, you know, tell everybody how much I've grown out of like certain things and show them how much I've matured and stuff. And what else do you want your speech to do? I want my speech to do like to be with very good passion and to be able to help people who are on the spectrum that have like difficulty you know, making friends and all that kind of stuff. And what what did you at the be like at the beginning of this year when we were talking about what is your job? What do you want to be? What do you, what is Oh, um, I um, want to be an autism advocate, motivational speaker, like an author, like best-selling books. Mm -hmm. And um, I want people to one day be able to read my book one day, like when I, I could deliver it to them anytime. I want them to think that if we make mistakes, that it's not to be annoying, it's that we're trying to do our best at what we can achieve. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to uh, become independent. And because, you know, I want to be independent one day and live in my own place. And I want to be able to one day have a mentor, like similar to as a case manager that I had in school, like to check on me and see how I'm doing and stuff. Um, it's absolutely incredible. And I am so, so proud. Um, I think one of the reasons I got into this profession was to help people find their voice because everybody has one and sometimes it takes longer than others to find it but 
you know, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. And it's just amazing to see where Paolo has ended up <laughs> from <laughs> from the beginning, <laughs> since the beginning. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It feels it like yesterday. It is crazy. It does. And that's what I like, right? Oh, yeah. It's always Because I too. haven't aged a bit. Like, and you look the same to me. Like, I Perfect. Remember. Hi, my name is Paulo Bagliato and I am 18 years old and I was diagnosed with autism at 12 years old. I would describe myself as a caring, amazing, loving, and good looking guy. I also have a sunny disposition. I'm always greeting people and I enjoy engaging with people. Most people when I tell them I have autism will say, really? You don't look autistic. But I tell them I am a high functioning adult with autism. Some of the issues that I have are, I have difficulty expressing myself when I feel nervous and understanding social cues. I want people in general to understand that if I make some mistakes, that it's not always what it appears to be. I know that sometimes I'm not focused and get easily distracted. I sometimes still lose my temper whenever it comes to sarcasm or constructive criticism. My brain learns differently and it is difficult for me to learn new things. I know that sometimes I may not always think or learn the same way like others, but I accept being on the autism spectrum. I feel good about it, and I honestly don't care what haters think of me because I'm proud to be the person I am. Making friends has not always been easy for me, and I wanted to be accepted into a friend group I used to be part of a life skill program, which is a special ed program like 12 to 1 class when I was in elementary school and middle school. But then in high school, I started mainstreaming and over time, I got switched to the 15 to 1 class of a mix of special ed and mainstream classes. I have suffered a lot from bullying in the past and I got made fun of so many times because I was in special ed. <laughs> Kids would call me all sorts of names like Sped, retard, loser, weirdo, and sketchy Paulo, creepy, and all sorts of names. I was very sad all the time. I also had so many suicidal thoughts back in freshman year, back in my sophomore year, and I wanted to drop out at school at some point because I was tired of all the bullying. Sometimes I wasn't able to sleep very well at night. I would feel scared a lot. But then I realized that the people who were bullying me were fake and didn't have my best interest at heart. I didn't need that negative energy in my life anymore. So I decided to focus more on my schoolwork, getting good grades, and I have great cousins and a great family. I know that not everything works out the way we wanted, but we have to think before making poor decisions or hurting others or ourselves. I started to do therapy outside of school to help me overcome certain challenges it's helped me to learn about relationships with people and how to behave in different situations. Counseling and speech therapy in school and therapy outside of school has helped me understand that I can change for the better and I don't have to be afraid to ask for help. In life, I want to have others treat me the way I want to be treated. I still do feel insecure about myself, but I need to appreciate the little things that have happened and not to take things for granted even though I have autism, I still want to be independent. I want to be able to one day find my true love that cares about me and that will be able to understand my feelings. I want it to be a steady and stable relationship, no matter what disability I have. I want to be able to go on business trips like my dad. I want to be able to participate in online meetings. I would like to live on my own and have a job. I want people to know that people with autism will make mistakes. It's not to be annoying. It's that I'm still learning new things. It may take me longer to respond or to understand what is happening in different situations, but that doesn't make me a bad person. Remember, if things have happened in the past, try to let it go and surround yourself with the right people.